it's a tag. Hi everyone, welcome back. It's Melissa and today I'm bringing you a new tag video. I love tags. I think they're so much fun to do, especially when you can showcase a bunch of different products and that's what we're going to do here today. So this tag I'm going to call the Capsule Makeup Wardrobe. I think you read a lot about capsule wardrobes on Pinterest and in all kinds of publications, and I thought it would be interesting to apply the, a similar concept to makeup. This idea came from an article I read. So this article said that most women have about 40 items in their makeup bag. Now, I happen to think that's probably a little bit on the high side for the average woman. Uh, I would say probably you and I here on YouTube have more than that. I would say, I'm guessing most women have about half that, 15 to 20 items in their makeup bag. So I thought it would be fun to challenge myself to put together a, a capsule makeup wardrobe out of my collection. What would I include in that and what, what would be some of the product recommendations? And the things that I would choose for my capsule makeup wardrobe may be different from what you would choose. So I thought that's what would make this interesting to see what other people would put in their makeup bag in the uh, with a limit of 30 items. So let's let's just jump right in and get started. So the first category is something that I think everybody needs to have in their makeup bag, something you should start every day with, and that is a really great sunscreen that works well under your makeup and a clear moisturizing lip balm. I happen to be using the Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue right now because it has a really lovely SPF. It's pretty sheer and it could be dual purpose as just like an everyday light coverage as well as a great sunscreen product under my heavier foundations. And the, the clear lip balm that I really like and I've repurchased several times is this one from Blistex. It's the Deep Renewal Lip Balm. So the next category is foundation. And I think everyone should have a foundation wardrobe within their capsule collection because you don't always want to wear the same level of coverage every day. Certain occasions call for different types of coverage. So I have an assortment of coverage options that I would include in my capsule wardrobe. And the first is an everyday foundation, one that you probably wear to work every day, that is your go-to foundation. It works great. It is the level of coverage that you're comfortable with. Mine is definitely this one from YSL, the Fusion Ink Foundation. I love this one and my shade is Almond. And an alternative to that is this Sephora Collection Perfection Mist Airbrush Foundation, another favorite of mine. Both of these are fairly light in coverage, and I think that really works for a really great everyday foundation because you're not going to work with like a heavy full coverage foundation every day. Next up is a really great CC cream for, you know, on the go, uh, on the fly, maybe something that is an all-in-one product to travel with. And uh, absolutely my favorite is the uh, It Cosmetics CC Plus. It has an SPF of 50 and it has this great little pump. I clearly need to replace this. This is practically empty, but I love this for travel and it's a great CC cream. Now for me, I would also include a powder foundation and a more full coverage foundation. And the powder foundation that I really love is this one from Urban Decay. It's the Naked Skin Ultra Definition Powder Foundation. It comes with a little sponge. I never use it. I always use a flat like Kabuki style brush. And I actually really love to pair this with this and it gives you really beautiful coverage and a really natural finish. I love those two together. And for a full coverage foundation, I would choose the Hourglass Vanish Foundation. It's a stick, like a cream to powder feel foundation. My shade is ivory, and I think this is great for travel. It doesn't take up a lot of room in your makeup bag, and it, it's not gonna leak, and I think it's a really excellent um, full coverage foundation. Another one that I like, but I didn't pull for this video, is the Too Faced Born This Way. I think that's another great uh, full coverage foundation. Now that's a lot of foundations. You may have fewer foundations and more lipsticks. You know, it, this is where this could be very interesting. The next category I'm gonna do is what I call like general face products. And the first one is a really perfect concealer. Uh, I happen to be out of this particular concealer at the moment and my favorite right now is the Maybelline Fit Me. It is a fabulous, fabulous concealer available at the drugstore, reasonably priced. It is my current favorite. Next up, 
would be like a setting or a, a setting powder and I really was torn on this so I've included two choices and the first one is this elf tone correcting powder I really love this it's really finely milled and I think it adds a little brightness to my face I love that but if you're not wanting to do the tone correcting route um, Another one that I've really been enjoying lately is the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores. Now this is a loose powder, but I think this does a fabulous job. So next up I would include a bronzer. I think everyone needs a good bronzer in their makeup collection, either one that they can use as a contour or to add a little bit of color. I really like this one from It Cosmetics. It's their ombre bronzer, so it can also have a little glow in it. Uh, it kind of can do two things at once, and I happen to really like the shade of this bronzer quite a bit. It works great for my skin tone. For a highlighter, you know, once you reach a certain age, highlighters can be a little tricky. Show off wrinkles or texture in your face, so I'm wanting something that's a little bit more subdued, and I think a really great one is the uh, Laura Mercier Highlight 01, and it looks like this. It's not super shiny, but it's going to give you a really nice subtle glow, uh, you know, on top of your cheekbones without looking like glittery. It's a very sophisticated look. And the last thing in this category would be um, something glowy to add to your foundation. So if you have a foundation that you wanted to have a little extra glow or you want to apply something under your foundation to give it a little extra glow, I would include some kind of a liquid um, glowy product. And the one I have is really old, but I can't get rid of it and I love using it. And it's from Boots uh, or Number 7, I think they call themselves now, and it's a, just like a pinky highlight uh, lotion. There are other ones on the market that do a similar thing so you could easily find something to substitute but gosh I love this so much and I'm gonna keep using it that's just how I roll so my next category if you will is like basic eye products and these are things that I think everyone should have in their capsule wardrobe and the first is uh, a really good like eye base and you can use something that's clear or something that has a little color to it. I happen to really like this Long Lasting Cream Eye Base. Well, it's actually an eyeshadow, but I use it as an eye base. This is in the color Shore, and it's from Bobbi Brown. It's the Long Wear Cream Shadow. The beauty of this is it could do two things. You could just wear it if you want a really nude look on your eye, or you could use it as an eye base. I like things that can do multiple have multiple functions. Now you may prefer to do something like the Urban Decay Primer Potion or something like that, but uh, or the MAC Paint Pots. Any of those would fit the bill here. So anyone who watches my channel knows I'm not a huge brow girl, but there are times where I want to have uh, a little color that I can add to my brows. And for that purpose, I usually really like to use like a tinted brow mascara, like uh, the Gimme Brow which I think is a great one. I'm currently using the Maybelline Brow Precise. This is a really nice option from the drugstore. It has kind of a funky little um, like comb situation there, but it's a nice option if you um, don't want to splurge for the Gimme Brow. Then I have a, a whole bunch of eyelining pencils, and I think you, <laughs> you need to have an assortment. <laughs> I like options. My current favorite formula is from the Makeup Forever line. It's their Aqua XL uh, pencils that look like this. I would definitely have a dark brown in my collection and I love this dark gray. Um, this is M14. It's probably my favorite eyeliner at the moment, but having said that, I also think you really need a black one as well. So I would definitely have three really good liners in my collection and one a really skinny liner for tight lining. And uh, I'm currently out of the Hourglass little skinny one and I'm test driving this one from Marc Jacobs, although I thought I was buying black and it's not black. But I am test driving this as another option. These have a super skinny tip and they're great for tight lining, especially good for for women with hooded eyes. So now we're going to jump into my favorite category and I have three items in this category. This is, you know, eyeshadow palettes. I 
love eyeshadow palettes. I'm a collector, so I do have multiple options here for you uh, to consider. And the first is I think everyone needs a really great neutral eyeshadow palette. I have three different choices that I really love in this category. The first one is from Tarte, and this is the Rainforest of the Sea. Uh, the original one. I love this one because they're very taupey. I love me a good taupe eyeshadow. The next one is a, a high-end favorite and it's from Marc Jacobs and it's the Lolita, Lolita palette. Again, I think this is a phenomenal palette. I love the shade range and uh, I think the shadows perform beautifully. And then one of the newer palettes to my collection is the Kat Von D Shade and Light. I think this is quickly becoming a classic. The texture of these shadows are phenomenal. They're so finely milled. They really blend beautifully. And uh, I don't know why I resisted buying this for so long because it's pretty awesome. So once you have that kind of neutral range nailed down, I think your next palette should be something fun with a little bit of color. It's something that you maybe would use in the evening that you can experiment with. And so I have two choices here for this colorful palette. And the first one is one that I have talked and talked about, and it is the uh, Japanese pixelated color palette. <sighs> I think this is perfection in a palette, I have to say. I love that you have these basic neutrals here and then all these fun colors to play with. I just love that. And um, I treasure this palette so, so much. And then another one that I really think is a good one for great color is this, um, I think the Vice 3, this one. Now this isn't sold anymore, but this is one from my collection. But it just gives you an, uh, an idea and inspiration. There are so many great colors in this palette. There's an awesome range of blues and pinks, and as well as some great neutrals in here. I think this is one of the best palettes that Urban Decay ever put together, quite frankly. And then the third item in like the eyeshadow category is I think everyone should have like a really great taupe. One that works for their skin tone. One that's like uh, one and done. You don't have to think about it. You don't have to dig too hard for it. I think everybody should have one of those. And m for me, I, my favorite one is from CK1. It's a little single like this. And this shade is called Evolved. And this is like a, it's a taupe with a slightly purpley undertone. I think that's why I love it so much. And uh, I have some backups of this because it is the perfect one and done eyeshadow for me. Another great one that I have in my collection is the Wet n Wild Nutty. This is another really terrific uh, taupe eyeshadow from the drugstore. Should we do a little swatchy swatchy of these? So the lighter one is the Wet n Wild Nutty and this one is the CK1 Evolved. It's just a little deeper. So the next category is blushes and I have three different items lined up in this category. The first one is a really great cream blush. I think everyone needs a really wonderful cream blush in their collection because you can layer it if you want. Uh, and I think there are certain times of the year that cream blushes are ideal. I certainly like the ones that I tried recently from um, the multi sticks from Bite Beauty. And I'm wearing gelato today, which is a really nice mauve nude. But I have to say one of my favorite cream blushes, which again, sorry, it's discontinued. Maybelline, why don't you bring these back? These were fabulous. And it is the Master Glaze stick blushes that were available from the drugstore. And this shade is just pinched pink. I think that's really pretty. I wish they would sell it again. I wish they'd bring it back, but I'll swatch that next to Gelato. So the deeper one is Gelato. This is the Maybelline one. I only mention that because some people may still have that in their collection or may still be able to get it at their drugstore. Then I also wanted to choose a blush palette. There are a lot of different ones on the market, but it counts as one item, but it gives you a lot of options. So I like that aspect of having a blush palette. And my absolute favorite has been this uh, limited edition one from Hourglass. And I think they're still making some of these little blush palettes and different combinations. 
Uh, but this is a fabulous blush. If you, even if you're just looking for a single, one of these is great. They swatch like crap, so don't don't judge them by how they finger swatch. You really have to judge them on your cheeks. And I think this mood exposure, whoo, baby, this is great. One of my favorites. And then the third blush item is like a glowy blush. Something that if you're in a rush, you want something with a little built-in glow to it. These would certainly fall into that category, but I have some others to show you. One from the drugstore and one not. And the drugstore one is uh, this Milani Baked Blush in Dolce Pink. I think this is just one of the prettiest blushes ever. This is a great line from the drugstore, these baked blushes from Milani. You cannot go wrong with those. And the other one that I really love is from It Cosmetics. It's their CC Radiance Ombre Blush, and this is in Sugar Plum. And this, you can do so much with this because it's this ombre pan. Use this deepest color in your contour to add a little bit of more dimension. You can uh, use it just as a blush and a highlight. You can swirl them all together and get a glowy look. Don't, don't walk by this. This is awesome. And yes, people are texting me. So the last category is lips. I have six items in the lip category, and I think these are really just the basics that everyone really needs in their collection. First of all, you need a great neutral lip liner, one that can work with a couple of different shades. My personal favorite is from MAC. This is Whirl. You can use this all over your lips, put a little balm on, and you're good to go. And a good drugstore dupe is this one from uh, Rimmel. It's their Exaggerate Full Color Lip Liner, and this is in the shade Addiction. I've almost used this one up, and I think they're very similar. So I think you need a good basic, your lips, but a little bit better lip liner that you can layer under lipstick or wear alone. So that's first of all. Then I think you need a really awesome nude lipstick. And this is one I've had a long time. It's from the drugstore and it's the NYX Pops. I love this. It's a great nude. It has enough color so I don't look like I'm dead. Beautiful nude. And this is from their Butter Lipstick line. Next, I would suggest something that's your lips but better, kind of an everyday go-to color. I happen to pick a long-wearing lipstick. I love this one from Kat Von D. It's Lolita. Whether you like the Lolita or the Lolita 2, both are great. Um, I happen to like Lolita. It's not as warm as Lolita 2. Lolita 2 is a slightly warmer. And then next I think you need a uh, pop of color. Something, a bright color that you're comfortable wearing. It doesn't have to be red. It can be, you know, a, a bright berry. It can be you know, whatever shade like looks great on you. If you love orange lipstick, that could be your pop of color. But I happen to be digging this one right now and it's from NARS and it's Cruella and it is a red. I think that this is terrific. It's their Velvet Map lipstick. Comes in a pencil and that's this shade here. And because when you wear red, you really need to have a great lip liner. So I would say you need a lip liner to go with whatever that pop of color is, whether it's red or berry right here. I have a red lip liner from uh, Rimmel that I would use with this. And then lastly in this lip category, I think you need a really terrific tinted lip balm for when you don't want, uh, you know, you want something easy to wear on the lips to give you a little bit of color. And I'm really loving this one from Pixie. It's the Shea Butter Lip Balm in the color Natural Rose. How cute is that packaging? That's it here below. It gives you a great moisturization with a little bit of color. Okay, I believe that is 30 products. Now keep in mind, in some cases I gave you a couple of choices so it may seem like a lot more, but I'll leave a complete list down below in the description box, kind of breaking it out by category along with my recommendations. I would love people to do this video and I tag anyone who makes videos to do this. I'm going to reach out to some of my favorite YouTubers and ask them to uh, do this tag as well because I think it would be super interesting to see what people put into their capsule makeup wardrobe. If you decide to do this video, please tag me either on Instagram or on Twitter down below in the comments, anywhere, so that I can uh, see your version of this as well. Thank you so much, and I look forward to seeing you real soon. Take care. Bye!